Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Dominique from Lunar Light Tarot. Today we're going to be finding out what are others' hidden opinions about you, what's the gossip about you, and what are others secretly thinking about you, okay? So I have three decks for you to choose from along with these little diamonds here. So we have the Wheel of Fortune for pile number one with the blue diamond, the Lovers with the purple diamond, and then the High Priestess with the Black Diamond. Okay, so go ahead and choose whichever combo is calling out to you, and I will see you at your reading. And for those who wanna check out the OG reading, that is the bonus reading for my subscribers at the end of the video. The topic for that is going to be, do they miss you? Now that could be about any specific person that you have in mind, maybe the person whose energy we pick up on in the main reading, or maybe somebody totally different that you would decide you want to find out about at the end, okay? That's gonna be the OG readings topic. Do they miss you, all right? Okay, I will, now I will see you at your reading, bye. Hello, Pal One, and welcome to your reading. If you chose this blue crystal or the Tarot Illuminati here, this one is your reading. We're gonna go ahead and get into what other secret opinions about you are, especially what the gossip is about you. But before we begin, we're gonna do a quick initial zodiac and charms today and see if, you know, we get your initials, the initials of any people that you are connected with right now and any initial gossip that we can get on you okay so yeah what are others putting the pins you got them and what are their initials of those in group one okay that's what we're grabbing here we'll also see like um what words come out as well all right, we have T A N. So I'm already getting tan. You could be you could be someone who's tan. We have N twice. L M E. So I already got tame. Okay, you could be someone who's actually kind of calm. I feel like you actually are more calm in this pile. K I. I heard if looks could kill. So you could have a really piercing kind of gaze. Oh, this one's a blank. I'm gonna put that to the side. T-O, a third N, B, and R. Alrighty. So these could be your initials. These could be the initials of someone that you know. Okay. You could have a brother. If you're watching this, I'm seeing bro here. Uh, what else? I'm seeing 10. Some people could feel like you are a 10, like you're very attractive. Hmm. Okay. And let's see what, um, okay, you got some charms here as well. You got the unicorn. So you'll feel like you're very rare. You're very one of a kind, all right? You also have the palm tree. The palm tree does talk about flexibility and security. So you'll feel like you're very secure. You're very flexible. And we also have Virgo coming through for the signs. I'm going to get a few more signs because just one, like, what do you mean? All right, so let's see what else we get for the signs. Okay, I'm seeing me too um, in the letter. So you could be someone who cares about women's rights. You know what I mean? Uh, you could be someone who is like very for, um, you're like a girl's girl, you know, if you put it that way. I'm just going to take the zodiac signs here, all right? People can feel like you're religious in some way. I just see the cross coming out. I was like, I'm only going to take the zodiac signs and then I read across, but whatever. <laughs> so we have Sagittarius coming out twice. Virgo again. So that's, oh, whoa. Uh, okay. We have Virgo two more times. So again, lots of Virgo energy there. Pisces coming out. Leo. Scorpio. And then we also have Aries. Alrighty. Okay, so that's what we have for the signs and the letters. All right, 
Well, we're gonna see throughout the reading if we can make any more words out of these letters, of course. And at the end, I'm also going to have some channel dice messages for you all, but let's now go ahead and get into the tarot cards. Would you believe, yes, you chose a Wheel of Fortune card, but well, as I was shuffling, this was the first card that came back out as I was shuffling, okay? So people's hidden opinions about you is that your life moves really quickly, at least on the surface, like it moves really quickly and you're always kind of onto the next thing, okay? People feel like you're someone who has a lot of luck I heard lucky girl syndrome and you tend to get what you want, especially because you have the magician here as well. People's hidden opinions about you is that you have the Midas touch you get what you want when it comes to your life and you know how to set a goal and execute. You do not wait for opportunities to come to you or, you know, the right things to align. Like you, you are a go-getter. You make opportunities happen in your own life. The Seven of Pentacles does talk about waiting and like biding your time. I'm hearing that you make your own opportunities. Okay, so people feel this very, very lucky energy around you. They feel like you're in the fast lane when it comes to your life. Like you have that magnetic energy that just draws opportunity in towards you. Okay, that's their hidden opinions. I feel like they wouldn't tell you this because some people don't want you to get like a big head, but they really feel like you have a lot of things going on for you. I'm also hearing that um, as the seasons change, as the years go by, you keep getting more attractive, you keep getting more abundant um, and more prosperous. People are like, wow, they're always up leveling throughout the years, okay? Yeah, people, people, their hidden opinions about you is that, again, you do not wait for things to happen. They can feel like you're someone who likes to travel as well. I'm also picking up on that. Um, their hidden opinion is like, wow, your life looks really cool on the surface. Um, I'm hearing some of you guys could have really interesting social media accounts. Um, people like to keep up with you on social media as well. That's what I'm hearing. And then we have the hanged man here. So people's hidden opinions about you is that you're very wise. You see things from a perspective that a lot of other people don't. You could be more optimistic than most people. People like that a lot about you. Um, and they just find you, they find you to be really interesting. They feel like you see everything a little bit differently than others do. You're able to see opportunity where others would see a disappointment or like a failure, okay? Like say something doesn't work out in your life, you're like, this is my opportunity to hone in on what I really want and get closer to it the next time, okay? I'm hearing that you're unstoppable as well. You're unbreakable. You don't take failure as the end all be all. You you understand that failure is a step to success, okay? To be successful, you have to fail, okay? Like at least once or twice, right? Like no, these overnight success stories are super rare. So you understand that it's just part of the process. You also have the queen of pentacles and at the bottom of the deck, yes, was the king of pentacles, okay? So um, wow, underneath that is temperance. So people's hidden opinions about you is that you're very, very stable. A lot of you could be in a relationship, okay? And if you are single, people's hidden opinions is that you're probably going to get into a relationship soon or they don't believe that you're really single. They believe there's someone behind the scenes um, who is secretly with you. But their hidden opinion about you is that you are very stable, okay? You're very put together. Um, people would think that you make more money than you do, okay? I'm hearing that people think you make a lot more money than you do, um, that you live a life that is very comfortable, okay? For some of you, you even look a little bit lavish, all right? <clears throat> it's like, <clears throat> you could be wearing a watch that's like 50, $100, and people are thinking that you're wearing like a $10,000 watch. Like, that's the kind of energy that I'm getting here. Um, hearing that you're very savvy. People don't know how much your clothes cost. People don't know how much um, your apartment, your help, your home costs, how much your mortgage costs. People don't know how much it costs for you to like own that pet that you have or your car. Oh, heavy on the car as well. Yeah, people are just like impressed by the way that you're able to manage yourself. They feel like you don't have any trouble with finances. All right, that's their hidden opinion is that you do not have trouble with your finances. You do well for yourself and that you're very stable and that um, you are emotionally stable right now as well. All right, okay, so let's go ahead now and check out my white and yellow cards. Let's see what else we can get. Let's see others hidden opinions about you, okay? 
What are other people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile number one? I feel like you accidentally do make people feel um, insecure, okay? Uh, people's hidden opinion about you is that they regret treating you badly in the past. I'm hearing this is old friends specifically, like they want to come up with you now and they realize that they're not going to be able to do that. Okay. People's hidden opinions about you is that you do have like some kind of star power. Yeah, you're very alluring and captivating. Exactly. So we have sexy, alluring and captivating. That's what other people do think about you. Okay, behind the scenes, do, some people do have serious feelings for you as well. They find you to be very, very attractive. Oh, look, we just came up at the top of the deck. We have destined for success. That's what I'm saying. Like a lot of people feel like you are just headed that way. You have people who are still watching you from afar as well. People from your past, recent and old past. That's what I'm seeing. I find your presence soothing. So yeah, people really secretly feel like your presence is very soothing. We kind of got that earlier um, with that calm, right? I was picking up on the word calm. Look, I'm sorry for hurting you came out again. Yeah. So people are sad when they, people end up being sad when they hurt you because they really want to join you on your journey. So they have a lot of shame and guilt for treating you badly. I feel like, um, I'm seeing in the in the letters here, I know we don't have the second L, but I'm seeing like kill, I'm also seeing, also seeing kill Bill. Um, interesting, I don't feel like you're necessarily the type to get revenge, I mean, maybe you are, but, oh, you know what it is? It's like the best revenge is a life well lived. So people feel like you get revenge on them by just living your life, okay? I'm seeing the, um, the name Tom, by the way. Um, so yeah, maybe there could be like a Tom in your life that's there, hmm. I pick up on the on the name Brandon too. That could that could resonate for some of you guys. <clears throat> Let's see what else we're getting with the Believe in Your Own Magic Oracle deck. What are other people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile number one? What are other people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile number one? gossip about them all right we have thorns weave together the crown that you deserve i'm just gonna get one from this deck because we have so many decks to dip into today guys maybe we'll come back but the thorns card for this okay people's hidden opinions about you is that you've taken difficult experiences that you've gone through and made lemonade out of lemons all right, and it's maybe that you're able to help to speak to the experiences, like you give advice to people or like the skills that you gained by going through some difficult experiences. Now you're able to use those skills to more accurately pinpoint what you want or to move towards what you want. Like say you went through a job that was really difficult, right? You didn't like the job or the work environment, but you ended up taking those transferable skills and you were able to up your resume. And then you got a job that was way better that kind of situation, or you even went through a difficult situation with a friend group, right? Or people were mistreating you and they weren't kind to you, but you were able to uh, take that experience and now you know better those like subtle backhanded compliments or when people are um, being subtly rude to you, you're able to more easily find authentic and genuine people Okay. Okay. With these sirens in the background, I'm getting that people's hidden opinions about you is that you have really great discernment. You're able to see through people really easily and your alarm goes off in your head. Like when something is off about someone. Okay. So they, people know that you have a lot of uh, discernment because of the things that you went through. That is very interesting. Let's look at the energy Oracle cards. And we're going to get a couple from here. What are people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile number one? What are people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile one? Oh, contract in reverse. Yeah, wow. So people, people, their hidden opinions is that you will cut off people that are no longer supposed to be a part of your story with ease, okay? You have a really strong cutoff game with the contract in reverse, okay? Their hidden opinions, um, hmm. 
Okay, I'm getting for like maybe one or two of you also. Their hidden opinions is that you can get out of any trouble like easily or you were able to like break a contract um, that like maybe you like broke a lease early and people feel like you were so lucky for being able to do that because you just had to get out of like a certain situation, right? Or um, God forbid there was some like legal trouble that you were in and you were able to get out of that. Now that's not gonna be for everybody, but I'm just hearing that uh, people feel like you are lucky, one. And then two, with the contract in reverse, people feel like you're able to leave connections, these soul connections that are no longer aligned with you and you seem to do it with ease, okay? A lot of people have the trouble with walking away, but it seems like you don't. And whenever you do walk away from these difficult situations, you seem to be rewarded, okay? People notice that. They notice that after you go through the storm that you are rewarded. People feel like you do not hold on to attachment. They notice that after you go through storms in your life, all this is at the bottom of the deck, after you go through storms in your life, you come out much stronger. You come out a stronger manifester with the magician and the mirror. You could even be, again, like rewarded in terms of um, like even money or looks like you get a glow up all of a sudden and your life just seems a lot better. It's really interesting. People find that to be really interesting about you. What hidden opinions do others have about pile number one? Oh, we have door to romance. Okay, if you are single, people feel like it's only a matter of time before you're gonna get snapped up, okay? And if you are in a relationship, their hidden opinion is that your relationship is ideal, all right? That you and your partner are really wonderful for each other. But I'm getting, especially for my singles, others feel like there is romance around the corner for you or that you are a really hot commodity. Now, this could be an actual sign that there is someone that's going to be coming into your life pretty soon, which is really interesting. If you guys want me to do like a what's next in love reading, do let me know. Okay. Oh, and if you're liking this reading so far, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. But yeah. Um, okay, you know what else I'm getting from the uh, letters here? I'm seeing brat. So some people could feel like your their hidden opinion about you is that you are a brat. Uh, I feel like it's because you have strong boundaries. Like you don't let people walk all over you. Okay. Especially with that Kale Bill energy. Like people get mad because they see you're doing better without them. Okay. You don't even have to try and get revenge. That's really interesting. Yeah, you do have strong boundaries. People, Some people get upset about that, okay? Very interesting. What are other people's hidden opinions about you? Some people make you out to be the villain in situations, um, even though you just get sick of the way they treated you and you stick up for yourself. Because I'm seeing uh, Bane as well. It makes me think of Bane from Batman. <laughs> and he's a real villain, but yeah, some people make you out to be the villain occasionally. What are people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile number one? Toil and labor. Okay, so their opinion is that you work really, really hard, especially for money. People think you work really, really hard and you have a really strong work ethic. All right. Um, people feel like you're very loved in your community as well. Like people really like you in your community. And what else? Thoughts. Interesting. You stay in the minds of people like heavily. I'm seeing that your family could think about you a lot. People secretly think that you have a really tight knit family, even if that's not necessarily true. They feel like you and your family are, are very close. But yeah, you stay on, on the thoughts of people, especially if they hurt you in the past. Like I feel like it's a lot of people's karma to still be thinking about you long after the connection is over. All right. So we're not done yet, guys. I have multiple other decks to pull from. We have the Alice's Romance Angels, one, Alice's Romance Oracle 1 and 2, my multicolored cards. And don't forget, we have the channel messages at the end. So channel dice messages. So we got more to go. Let's go ahead and see what we get next, okay? What is the gossip about them? What do others secretly think about my pile number one? What do people secretly think about them? I am ready. Okay, so yeah, people feel like you have a lot of direction in your life, um, that you're someone who's a go-getter. Again, you're ready for your life. You're not someone, people feel like you are um, very, how, what is that word? The opposite of lazy, productive. There you go. You're very productive. You're on my mind the most. 
I'm feeling overwhelmed. So you have some people from, I'm feeling specifically from your past who are still thinking about you, okay? Their hidden opinion is that they actually feel overwhelmed when it comes to the connection um, because... Mm, they, for some people thought it would be easier to get over you than it, when it, than it was. This could be ex-friends as well. But they still think about you a lot. Very interesting. What are the hidden opinions about those who chose pile one? What are people's hidden opinions about those choosing pile one? I need to feel in control. So yeah, some people feel like you are a control freak, okay? Some people feel like you need control over your life. But I don't think it's a bad thing. I just feel like... <laughs> I just feel like these are people who, again, they want to try to get one over on you. They want to be in control of you. So they're upset that you are in control of yourself, right? Or these are people who maybe lack direction. So they feel like you are like extra because you have a lot of it. Okay. Interesting. I never met anyone like you before. Yeah. Again, you're one of one. You're very unique. I am confused. Some people don't know what to make of you, which is interesting. Well, we'll see more about that in my, with my multicolored cards. And then we have, I miss you. Yeah, I'm depressed. I feel stuck. Yeah, there are some, there are some people who are really having trouble getting over you, okay? They really have trouble getting over you. And they miss you a lot from your past. All right, if you guys want to find out if a specific person misses you, do check out my OG reading. That's going to be the topic today. Do they miss you? A specific person on your mind, okay? If you are subscribed, if you're an OG those are synonyms, <laughs> then you can check out the OG reading, the bonus reading and see if, they, if that person misses you. All right. Yeah. Let's see what other hidden opinions people have about you. What are, what are hidden opinions do others have about my pile number ones? People feel like you have sexy legs. You make me feel like I'm walking on air. Wow. Very intense reaction out of people. Gorgeous eyes. All right. Very interesting. I feel like you have this very, um, again, this magnetic like, opportunity attracting kind of energy. Like you're you're really magnetic in the sense of like law of attraction. So when you make people feel like they're walking on air, it's because of this high vibe that you have. You literally elevate people. Lovely hair. So people feel like you have lovely hair. What are people's hidden opinions about them? You're doing amazingly. Give yourself more credit. Yeah, exactly. You're doing really, really well when it comes to your life. You maybe want to spend forever together. So again, you're a really big catch. People feel like you're about to get snapped up. And if you are, they feel like you are going to spend forever with your partner. They feel like you and your partner are a great match. Attractive physique. I'm trying not to think about us. Yeah, some people from your past. And then your vibe is intoxicating. I feel high when you're near. What did I say about you literally elevating people? Like your energy elevates people. So people also feel like you have a cute face, okay? All right. Now, before we end things off, I am going to get some dice messages. So let's see like how you're being viewed. Some channel dice messages. And I also have these physical traits, your best physical traits, okay? So we can see what people are secretly thinking about your physical traits as well. So yeah. All right, let's start with this left side. All right. What are people's hidden opinions about my pal number one's divine source? Okay, we have six and one, which is also seven. So one says, I'm about ready to reach out and text you. Ooh, so you could get a message from someone soon who's been thinking about you. Six says, when will you notice me? I've been feeling you. So yeah, you can have more admirers than you even think, okay? Their hidden opinion is that you don't notice them and that they want you to. And then seven is, I can see you transforming me for the better. Yeah, so again, your vibe elevates people. That's their opinion is that you do elevate other people, okay? <clears throat> now let's move over here. How are you being viewed? What hidden opinions, what hidden opinions do they have about you? Zero, sorry guys, I don't have zero. And then we also got six, okay, so three and six. Three says, you're creative and a visionary. I like your genuine energy. There you go. You're someone I'd rather keep my distance from. So yes, yeah, people get intimidated by you or again, they, they feel like they cannot control you and you're kind of unpredictable. So they, even though you're someone who's very calm, like you do your own thing, some people don't really like that. 
okay and then we have nine you come across very intelligent and knowledgeable interesting i want to get a second round from this specific one so let's go again what are their hidden opinions about those who chose pile number one i heard loud mouth some people could feel like you you have you have a lot of opinions okay okay then we have one you're quite eye-catching. You stand out from the crowd, okay? Six, again, was you're someone I keep my distance from. So, yeah, some people, you know, some people are not messing with it. But, you know, it's, it's, it's got to be a realistic reading. Can all be positive. And then seven is you're very focused on your life's journey at this time. Yeah, people feel like you're very focused. And what are their hidden opinions about your physical traits, okay? That's going to end off the reading for today. What are their hidden opinions? about the physical traits no oh, oh you know what i just saw in the letters as well some people think that you're faking the amount of money that you have some people fake some people feel like you or you're fake flexing and that you're actually broke okay now that doesn't have to be true at all but yeah some people feel like you're broke and that you're fake flexing but yeah that's what i got there random uh, we have one right unique style trendsetter one of one imitated often what do we say about the unicorn and you being one of one that came out multiple times so confirmation that people feel like you are one of one you're very unique two we have mesmerizing eyes piercing gaze eye shape or color again that's confirmation because earlier we had gorgeous eyes and then to these two together make three three says toned fit body gym body insta baddie and then model-esque okay so they're thinking about your body. What else can we get? What hidden opinions do others have about my pound number one's body, their physical traits? Now we have six and seven, okay, which is also 13. All right, six says, sexy curvy figure, voluptuous body, slim, thick, and curvilicious. So it could be any body type that you have if people are focused on your body figure, all right? Then seven says, gorgeous face, 10 out of 10, stunning beauty, symmetrical and proportionate. I love it, love it. And then 13 is bubble butt, round lifted booty, can twerk, jiggles and wiggles. That is so funny. I love it. Okay, that's what I have for y'all today. I do hope that you enjoyed this reading. Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you would like to become an OG. And if you want to find out the OG reading, do they miss you, okay? It could be by the person of your choice. If you would like more content from me, go ahead and check out my TikTok under the same handle, Lunar Light Tarot. And also check out my website where you can book a personal reading with me. That is LunarLightTarot.com. And all that is in the description box below. All right, thanks guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello, pile number two. If you chose the lover's card or this purple gemstone, we're ready to go ahead and get into your reading, okay? What are others' hidden opinions about you? What do they secretly think about you? Now, these messages can may come across negative or positive, all right? These do not have to be true. There are other secret opinions about you. Before we get started with the tarot, we're going to look at some initial zodiac signs and a few charms to see if this reading is going to resonate with you. If we can get your initials, your zodiac signs. So, Spirit, please, please help me to get the initials and zodiac signs of those who are choosing pile number two. a lot of letters all right let's go ahead and see what we have here we have w o okay another o oops a j i feel like i got the whole alphabet oh my gosh p n another a E, H, you have whoa, so people have strong reactions when it comes to you. You have N, another N, I, another I, another A, okay, a lot of repeat letters. E, 
L T C and then B. Okay, I'm gonna take away these repeats. Some of you guys could teach. So we have teach here, like you're a teacher, or you could be a natural teacher. Okay. I'm also saying heal. You have to be natural healers. You could be in the medical industry in some way. All right. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing net. You guys could have a, a strong like internet personality. Okay. Or like you could be, you know, someone who's on the internet a lot. People think you're on the internet a lot. Okay. I'm also seeing pal. People think you could be a really good friend. Okay. Maybe you have a lot of acquaintances who are thinking about you. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm also seeing belch. Like maybe you guys tend to accidentally burp a lot. <laughs> Like when you're alone, maybe you're someone who's naturally gassy, not to call you out, but you know, we all, we all do it. <laughs> that is so interesting that that came up. All right. So the only charm that you guys got was the uh, Saturn charm. So people feel like your energy could be like kind of out of this world, a little bit star sign-ish. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if Aquarius came out here and we do have Aquarius. There we go. Yeah. Aquarius for one of the signs, one of the zodiac signs. So you kind of have that out of this world energy, a little bit of that alien-esque energy. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, and also Gemini. All right, Gemini came up twice. So some air energy coming out here. Alrighty, so that is the signs that we have. Now, none of those resonated. Do not worry. We're going to go ahead and get into the tarot now. All right, so let's go ahead and see what you guys got for the hidden opinions, okay? Now, I, I did see that this pile was a little more pointed, okay? People had some hidden opinions about you that were a little less savory. So when uh, starting out here with the Knight of Wands and the King of Swords, I'm going to that people can feel like you are a player, okay? They feel like you are not really willing to commit to a lot of people at this time. Um, and I'm getting romantically that people, they heard an opinion about you is that you're a player, okay? And that you're closed off to commitment. You could have that kind of look about you. I'm getting like heartbreaker vibes, okay? I'm getting situationship vibes. Their hidden opinion about you is that you're in a situationship, okay? And if you are, they feel like you are the one who's more of a player than the other person. I'm hearing, um, I'm not, I'm not the player, I'm the coach. So yeah, you can have the people who try to play you and then you just know how to handle the situation better. Maybe you have a lot of experience when it comes to dating, uh, but yeah, people feel like you are a bit of a player, all right? Hmm, what else am I getting here? Um, people feel like you could be very direct, like with your words. You don't tend to really beat around the bush. Not that you say things that you regret, but you say what you mean and you mean what you say, okay? I'm definitely getting that. People feel like you've had to start over multiple times. That is their hidden opinion about you, is that you've made a lot of changes in your life. Um, there have been situations where you know, from the outside, it seems like you've lost everything and you've had to start over many, many times, okay? That's what people think about you. They feel like you're still trying to create stability and abundance for yourself. They're still trying to get there. People feel like uh, their hidden opinion of you is that, um, you started over so many times and that not in a bad way, but you know, that you're not quite there yet to where you want to be. People feel like you're not there, you know, you're not there yet. And that you're still working on your life and you're still working on yourself. Um, their hidden opinion is that, you know, that you're a work in progress. Okay. Uh, we have the six of wands and the ace of wands in reverse. So the people's hidden opinions about you is that you're looking for a new inspiration right now. Um, some of you could be looking for a new job or mm, you're looking for you're looking for how to create more stability in your life. OK, their hidden opinion about you is that you're still working on becoming successful. Like you don't feel like you're there yet. OK, you keep like kind of starting over in some way. Um, people feel like your luck has not been on your side recently. Okay. 
Now this could be true or it could not be true, right? But that's how they're kind of perceiving you right now, that you're you're starting over, you're doing something different, you've had to start over a couple of different times, and it hasn't always been easy for you, okay? Now, let's go ahead and check out my white and yellow cards to see what else are people hidden opinions about you, okay? The good, the bad, the in-between, what do we got? Okay. I'm here for attention, not commitment. Guys, what did I say? Yeah, yeah. You could be someone who wants to commit a relationship, but you come off like a player, all right? That's what people feel like about you. That's their hidden opinion, is that you're a player. Okay, what's up? I can see myself with you long term, and I'm having dreams about you. So their hidden opinion is that you do stay on people's minds long after they've been with you, okay? which is interesting. I feel like others others can see themselves with you, but again, you're not really for the commitment right now, hence the player vibes. All right, we have you make life more exciting. You could be a little bit of a rebel. I'm seeing the um, dangerous and hot card in my mind, bad girl, bad boy. So you could have a little bit of that kind of vibe. For some of you, you could um, ride in a car. That's kind of exciting, okay? I wouldn't be surprised if you rode like a motorcycle or something. Or um, you rode, like you skate, you do skateboarding or snowboarding, something kind of like that. Or something a little bit edgy, like on the side here. That's what I'm seeing. Like people kind of see you as someone who's edgy. And yes, you do make life more exciting. All right. What are other people's secret hidden opinions? Oh, we have, I want to be with you, but the timing isn't right. Wow. So there are people who do want to be with you, but again, you're, they feel like you're kind of icing them out. Yeah. I don't know if I can trust you came out. I need to say, I want to get to know more about you, but I won't take that one. So yeah. So other people, uh, Oh my God, you really come off as a player, especially in the dating scene. Especially if you just met somebody new, right? They don't know if they can trust you because you come off like a heartbreaker. All right, this person is jealous. Okay, so yeah, um, there are people who are, there's their secret opinion right now is that they're a little bit jealous of you in some way. People could be jealous of your charisma. They could be jealous of your dating life or they could be jealous of the way that like people seem to want you. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, I copy see this person wants commitment. Yeah, I, I feel like um, if you're dating somebody right now, they could be jealous because they feel like you are entertaining other people right now. Very, very interesting. Okay, wow. That came out kind of quickly. Let's see what else we're getting. And I'm going to use the Believe in Your Own Magic deck, okay? What are people's hidden opinions? about pile number two. I did see the B word in the car, B-I-T-C-H. So yeah, people can feel like you're, you know, you're a little bit to the point, you know? People can feel like you're, you know, you're a bit of a B. <laughs> they can feel like that. Like you're, you're maybe you're a bad B as well. But yeah, they, I'm, good. I'm getting that. That is interesting. Let's see what else we can get, guys. Don't worry, I swear it's not gonna be all doom and gloom for sure. What hidden opinions do others have about those who chose pile number two? But it can't all be positive, right? All right, we have red, which says forgive. And then confidence, it comes with time and practice. Okay, so the hidden opinion about you is a bit of a story, all right? Um, the hidden opinion is that you definitely went through a time where maybe you were like picked on um, by some people or you went through a situation that tested your confidence, that tested your ability to stand up for yourself. Um, and ever since you went through that situation and you were treated unfairly, now you've been kind of closed off to new people, okay? So yeah, the hidden opinion is that you're closed off to new people, but you still haven't really forgiven whatever this past situation was and that it does weigh heavily on you and maybe that's the reason why you haven't wanted to get into a commitment for some reason now that could be totally you know not true but that's the outside opinion right that's what people are thinking from the outside okay i'm seeing peach uh, maybe you guys like peaches or you could have a nice butt okay uh, now that I think about it, yeah, you could have a really nice butt because um, of the peach here that I just saw in the card. 
Okay. Some of you guys could look a little bit like Princess Peach, where she has like the blonde hair and the blue eyes. Maybe you have like very voluminous hair. You don't have to have that, okay? But that's also coming up. Or maybe you play as Princess Peach in Mario Kart, right? All right, what are other people's secret opinions about pile number two? Yeah, people feel like you're on this journey right now. Uh, people feel like people can secretly think that you struggle with um, anxiety or with mental health at times. They wonder if you're an anxious person at all. But yeah, people are sensing that you're on this journey where you're trying to leave behind the past. That's their hidden opinion. People, okay, their hidden opinion about you is that sometimes you do struggle with balance or that you're trying to make your life more balanced at this time, okay? That is really interesting. Yeah, people feel like you're trying to make your life more balanced and to get into alignment with what you want, all right? Hmm, okay. Let's see, from the Kipper fortune telling deck, what are their hidden opinions about you? We have the lovers. Yeah, maybe there's someone that you're dating right now or people feel like you are a catch or people are interested in dating you, but people like, People are afraid to get close to you because of this player energy that they perceive you to have. What are the hidden opinions? We have high honor and then gift. So I'm getting that people do think that you are gifted. Uh, people feel like you are a cat and that you always land on your feet. Somehow you always end up with some unexpected income or you always just find a way to make ends meet, right? You always find a way to make things work. Um, even if people have mixed opinions about you, you're still seen as someone who's honorable in the community, okay? You're still seen as someone who is desirable, who has high honor, right? And I'm just getting like this sly kind of energy from you, not in a bad way, but do you know those people who are like very magnetic and attractive? I feel like you're someone who is forthcoming with what you want. So it's not a deceptive energy that I'm picking up here. I'm really not getting that. I'm just getting someone who is honest about what they want. Um, they're kind of doing their own thing and you're working on your own life right now. So people, people do see that as being honorable. People feel like you uh, work like hard for yourself and you try to make things happen in your life. So they do, they do honor that, okay? People do feel like you are gifted in some way. I heard gift of gab, all right? You have a lot of charisma. You naturally have a lot of charisma. That's what I'm sensing. I am seeing catch now in the letters as well. So people can feel like you're, I'm seeing nice. You could be a nice catch, okay? Um, so you have you have the B word and you also have nice. So there's some split opinions about you, right? Like some people could feel like you're a bit of a bitch and people feel like, now I'm just saying it. Some people could feel like you're like that or some people could feel like you're a catch. I'm also seeing the name John in the card so yeah there could be someone who's named john joan um beth is here kate is here kate with the c or k you know uh, i'm seeing late <laughs> so, so sometimes you guys might run late okay <laughs> Um, okay, we also have pile. So maybe, maybe you guys want to check out any of the other piles because we do, we literally have the word pile, okay? Maybe I'm going to check out pile one because this I could also stand for one. So that could be a whole different opinion about um, you. Yeah, we have literally the word one is here. So I want to check out pile one. Interesting, interesting. Because um, you could have some mixed opinions about you going on. Alrighty, so we're not done yet. We have so much more to look at, guys. We have the Alice's Romance Oracle 1 and 2, my multicolored cards, and we're going to do channel dice messages in a little bit. So if you guys want more, be sure to stay and do click the like button if you guys are liking the reading so far. It does really help my channel. Let me know what you guys like to see. All right, what are the hidden opinions about those who chose pile number two? All right, so we have I'm still healing. Exactly, so people feel like you're healing right now. You're trying to level up right now. What are the hidden opinions about those who chose pile two? I feel connected to you. So yeah, people do feel a connection with you. They feel that, like, you know, it's easy to want you. That's what I'm hearing, like you're naturally desirable. I want to get back together so you could have exes that even want to get back together. Guys, if you want to know if a specific person misses you, do check out my OG reading. All you have to do is be subscribed. That is a subscriber bonus. And the topic is going to be, do they miss you? Okay. 
All right, I'm not sure what I'm feeling. So you leave people kind of puzzled. Like I'm hearing that people tend to think about you more than you even think because they're curious about you and you kind of draw people in. <clears throat> you have, you're the reason I keep going. That is interesting. They're hidden opinions. Um, you can inspire some people. Some people also may be in secret competition with you is what I'm getting. What are the hidden opinions about those who chose pile two? I think you're amazing. And then I heard something about you. So people tend to keep up on, on gossip with you. I am who I am is what they heard about you. So people feel like um, you are like kind of stubborn, all right? Like you're not, I wouldn't say like stuck in your ways, but you're someone who um, you know what you want for your life and you're kind of dead set on doing things the way that you want to do them is how people, yes, it is stubborn. <laughs> okay, that's what people's secret opinions about you are. People like hearing gossip about you, like you're a hot topic is what I'm picking up on. Alrighty, let's look at my multicolored cards. What other hidden opinions do others have about you? I'm secretly attracted to you, you're so sexy. Yes, people feel like you're very sexy, all right? You're still, again, you're still very desirable. Stunning face, yeah, you guys have that kind of look. A friend could feel this way about you. A friend could secretly be attracted to you or a friend could be um, you know, feel like having these secret opinions about you. All right. All righty. An ex, an ex could secretly still want you. All right. What hidden opinions do others have about my pal number two? What hidden opinions do others have about my pal number two? I want you all to myself. Ooh, I'm telling you, there's someone who wants to be with you that you're kind of pushing off right now, which is really interesting. I'm trying not to think about us. Mm-hmm, they certainly are. A mutual friend could also feel this way. Something about a friend, yeah. That is interesting. I act like I care, but I really don't. So people feel that way about you, that you act like you care, but you really don't uh, about like a certain romantic situation, okay? Again, that player vibes, you have player vibes. Pouty lips. I want to spoil you, ask for whatever you like. So people wanna win you over, they want your validation. Your beauty is so stunning to me. So again, emphasis on you have a stunning face, like very stunning and also big booty. Okay, very interesting. Did we, did we see something about butt earlier? I almost feel like we did. Did we not? I'm trying to see what else is in the car. Oh yeah, peach. Yeah, we did. We talked about peach. Your peach is looking good. Okay, so confirmation that you have a really nice butt. Okay, <laughs> that is really interesting. Okay, so let's go ahead now. And check out my channel dice messages, okay? So we're gonna see what else people are thinking about you, what their hidden opinions are. We're gonna start on the left here, all right? What are their hidden opinions? Hidden opinions about those who chose pile two. Hidden opinions about pile two. We have nine and five, which is also 14. Five says, you seem a bit cocky, even too good for people. Ooh, your energy really has people like, a little bit in a fuss. This is very interesting. Nine says, I'm upset at the amount of attention you get. Mm, okay, I see. And then 14 says, you're so hot and cold. I can't figure you out. Guys, yeah, that's definitely the energy here. Can we get another one? What are the hidden opinions about those who chose pile two? Okay, we do have two. Mm, and then zero. Sorry, I don't have a zero, guys. Okay, three, so it's just also five. You're sexy, I can see it's hanging out. You're intimidating, I'm feeling jealous. And then again, you seem a bit cocky. So that came up twice. And now we're gonna check out, again, how you're being viewed. All right, what are their hidden opinions about those which was pile number two? Another zero, but we also have eight. Hidden opinions about pile number two. Four. Okay, and that's 12. All right, four says, you're relaxing to be around. You seem so put together. That is interesting. Because I'm not really getting the vibe that you're not necessarily put together. It's kind of like, um, again, people feel like you're still trying to get somewhere, right? But they still enjoy what you have going on for yourself right now, all right? And then we have your physical form gets you a lot of attention, haughty. And then I'd be interested in getting closer to you. I have a little crush. Yeah, people do get a crush on you. And now we're gonna check out your more physical traits, okay? What are people's secret opinions about your physical traits? 
Propel two. Six and then two. Two says mesmerizing eyes, piercing gaze, eye shape, or color. And then six is sexy, curvy figure, voluptuous body, slim, thick, curvilicious. <laughs> I love that one. And then eight says perky, full breasts, sexy cleavage, perfect breasts. Are they real? All right, so that's what I'm getting here. And then the second one, what are people's secret opinions about pile number two's physical traits? Okay, got another zero. Okay, now five. Four and five. Four says, great teeth, killer smile, sexy smirk, white or straight teeth. Five is gorgeous hair, full, luscious, changed in hair color or style. So if you recently changed it, people really liked that. And then nine is long, slender legs, looks tall, shiny, sexy legs, amazing, and heels. All right, guys, that is what I have for y'all today. I do hope that you enjoyed today's reading. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, Become an OG. The way you can watch the OG reading is going to be all about do they miss you, okay? Guys, the OG reading is just an extra reading at the end of the video for my subscribers. So go ahead and check that out. Um, I also have a TikTok if you were ever interested in more free content. It's under my same handle, Lunar Light Tarot. And then I also have a website, lunarlighttarot.com, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello, Pile 3, and welcome to your reading if you chose this black crystal or the Bianco Nero Tarot. This one is going to be for you. Before we get started with the tarot today, I'm gonna to go ahead and get some initials and zodiac signs, and then we're gonna dive into others' hidden opinions about you, okay? So these would be your initials, the initials of someone that you're connecting with recently. Okay, so let's go ahead and see for pal number three. What do we have for them? I don't want to get too many, but <laughs> sometimes it's kind of hard not to. All right, so let's go ahead and see these initials. We have G, E, okay, two E's, N. I'm already hearing Jen or Genevieve. All right, L, another E, put the side. T, oh, well, I'm seeing the word gentle. People can feel like you're gentle, your gentle soul. F. On triple E, interesting, quadruple actually, Q, S, I. All right, people could secretly think that you're single, okay? They, people could wonder why you're single. Another I, P. People feel like you'd like to sip tea, I heard that. You could actually like tea or you like gossiping. Another G, yeah, you like gossip. People feel like you like gossip. Another E, my goodness. K and U, very interesting. Okay, now for the signs, we do have Virgo, Virgo twice, Aries, Oh, he actually Virgo three times. Wow. Scorpio. Taurus. Aries twice. So let's put those to the side. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Capricorn twice. Three times. Thank you, Capricorn. <laughs> Gemini, Gemini twice, Cancer, and Aquarius. We have so many here today, and that's all right. All right, I'm going to read these charms quickly, but I'm going to uh, take them off camera after that, just to save some space. 
All right, so uh, what I'm hearing here, the secret opinions is that you're someone who's transformed and, and grown a lot in your life with this butterfly and the leaf. You've grown a lot. You could have somewhat of like a royal vibe. Um, people do tend to get uh, corny for you, okay? Because we have the cherries, the wine glass, and the heart on the pants. Really, the heart on the pants is all I need to see, okay? So yeah, people do, do tend to like you. They get crushes on you with this red heart. Um, they do get kind of like horny for you as well. They could feel like you have nice breasts, okay? If you have those, they feel like you have really nice cleavage. They feel like you're someone who's unique and you're kind of one of a kind, like you're very different than, than the rest. People can feel like you're growing very well and you kind of have, like I said, a royal regal vibe. People do want to drink with you and then see what you're like when you're under the influence. Okay, hence uh, the sip, the little sip that's also over there. I also say lips here, so people could feel like you have really nice lips or nips. <laughs> that's coming up too. They want to know what your, um, they want to know what that looks like. Oh, that's definitely coming up. Yeah, they really want to know um, what your breasts look like. <laughs> oh my goodness. Interesting. I'm also seeing scent. Like you could leave people on delivered a lot, or you could block people. Um, someone that you blocked is still thinking about you. Okay, <clears throat> but yeah. All right, that's what we have for some of these initial messages. Now, if none of that resonated, don't worry, we have so much more to get into today. So let's just see uh, what else is here, okay? Now, all right, so what people's hidden opinions about you, you are above the drama. All right, those are the first things coming out with the justice and the five of wands in reverse. Um, you could be a Libra, but you don't have to be. That's another one that didn't come out here. But yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. People feel that you do not want to get yourself involved in drama. All right, people talk about you, we don't talk about them. And um, yes, you are interested in gossip, but you don't feed it. And you're never really involved in a lot of drama. You're definitely someone who's very calm. You're easy to get along with. And you know, you're just not in for all of that. People feel like your life is very calm. And they cannot get a certain reaction out of you. I feel like people do try to test you sometimes. They do try to get a reaction out of you, but it does not work every single time. And most of you are in that you can have a really great sense of style as their hidden opinions, that you have great style. You do have the Empress and the Star here, okay? So people feel like you are very eye-catching. You're very gorgeous. Again, emphasis on like the breast or like the cleavage here, okay? People feel like you are very beautiful in that particular area. They're very curious to know like what they look like. That's really coming through heavily. But yes, people feel like you're very put together. You're very gorgeous. You have a very stunning beauty. I heard exquisite beauty, yeah. You're, you're very magnetic in that people are very attracted to you, okay? Uh, when you go out, people could almost like fight for your attention a little bit, okay? That's their hidden opinion is that like people fight for your attention when they go out or you have no idea how many people are looking at you um, or interested in talking to you. Other people pick up on that, but you may not because I feel like you're someone who is like really about your business. You're about your own energy. You may even consider yourself to be like a little bit of a homebody, okay? At the Four of Pentacles, like you're not really out there on the scene like that all the time. Maybe you're someone who's a little bit more introverted or you're just kind of keep to yourself. Like you don't have a bunch of friends. You're not friends with every, you know, every Dick, Tom, Harry, um, Sally, Susan, okay? If I said your name, that's definitely confirmation or someone that you know. But yeah, you're not in everybody's business for sure. You really do keep to yourself. But other people will want to be in your business. I heard popular loner. Okay, so you are a popular loner. Uh, people tend to watch your social media as well. But yeah, people feel like you're you're popular, but you don't really know it. You could have someone in particular who's very interested in you right now with this King of Pentacles. Oh yeah, there's definitely someone who finds you to be like a romantic option. Maybe you're seeing somebody right now, or this is even somebody that um, with the Fool in reverse that was underneath the deck. It could be someone that you've taken a step away from, um, but is still very interested in, in you and your energy. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and continue now with the white and yellow cards. Okay. What are people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile number three? Okay. Yeah. You make life more exciting. So yeah, people feel like you're a very interesting person. 
They're very curious about you, okay? Uh, and when you do come out on the scene, you do make the scene more exciting. We have, you can do better than me. And on the back it says, I'm still watching you from afar. So yeah, you, uh, the hidden opinion about you was that um, you can do better than a lot of people that you've dated in the past or even people who wanna get with you, they are intimidated because they feel like they're not up to par. Now your DMs could be dry, you could be kind of experiencing even like a lull in your romantic life if you're not already in a relationship. And it's because people are intimidated by you because they feel like they're not on your level. So they just stay away from you, but they do watch you from afar, okay? We also have, you're the sexiest person I know. I gotta take that. We gotta take that. So yeah, that's their hidden opinion is that you're the sexiest person that, that they know. <clears throat> We also have, I'm worried about you. Are you okay? On the back, it says, I want to make you moan. I feel like this is more the and the more consistent energy. Yeah, you do have a lot of like ex appeal, if you know what I mean. Okay, I'm worried about you. Are you okay? I feel like you do keep to yourself. So some people, their hidden opinion is that they want to check in on you. They're not always sure how you're doing. I heard that it's always a strong ones. It's always a silent ones who are going through the most stuff. So yeah, you may not be... Do you, is your hidden opinion is that you do not talk to a lot of people about your problems, okay? You also have your eyes are intoxicating at the top of the deck. So yeah, definitely that. We have plays dumb on purpose, hidden agenda, and observant. So interesting. Yeah, their hidden opinion is that you know the gossip about certain situations or you can see right through people, but you don't always stir the pot because you just rather sit back and watch, like you're not trying to be in everybody's business, but you take note of what the people show you, if that makes sense. You also have missing you in reverse. So their hidden opinion is that there are people who are lots of, who are missing you, but you don't miss them. Okay, that's why it's in reverse because you don't miss them, but they miss you. All right, we have yearning, nostalgic and unwell. So you could have access from your past who, is, who are missing you right now. Guys, if you want to find out who is missing you or if you have a specific, specific person in mind and you're wondering, do they miss you? Check out the OG reading. Just be subscribed. Um, it's, it's the reading after this one. And it's all about, does this person miss you? Okay, we're also gonna be finding out like who that person is. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. We can find out, you know, who this person is that's missing you. But at the bottom of the deck, we have, damn, you're one bad B. So yeah, you're definitely a baddie. <laughs> People definitely think that about you. Not me seeing the nip slip in the in the letters here. People really want to know what that looks like in particular. Um, <laughs> that is so interesting. I'm also seeing queen, queen in the letter. So yeah, people feel like you are a queen as well. Very interesting. I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing kung fu. People could feel like you know how to fight, or you could like have taken kung fu or like martial arts at some point in time. People know that about you. Or people feel like you know how to fight for some reason, even if it's just like fight with your words, like your words could cut deep. But yeah, I saw kung fu. That's really interesting. Okay. <clears throat> What else are we getting? What hidden opinions do others have about those who chose pile number three? Oh, we have which justice is coming. Wow, this is so interesting. Their hidden opinion is that you're walking karma. And I feel like you don't do this on purpose. Like you don't go out looking for revenge, right? I mean, it could be that situation like the best revenge is, is a life well lived, but you always get your comeuppance, dare I say, okay? And other people get their just desserts when it comes to you. Like people cannot get one over on you without the universe correcting it. People could feel like, people could secretly feel like you are a witch, okay? Because it literally, I mean, it literally says witch. So they could feel like you do spells. Now that I look at it, we do have the word spells in the letters here. So people can secretly feel like you do spells on yourself um, to become more attractive. You, um, you know, do spells to other people so that they like, you know, don't do so hot after they mess you over, things like that. But I kind of, I doubt that you do that. I just feel like, you know, people wonder if you, if you are a witch, if you do spells, okay? Or if you practice magic in any regard, all right? They're very curious about that. I'm hearing that people are curious about your spirituality and what you believe in. 
that kind of freaks them out sometimes because they feel like you're very powerful and they wonder if that's where you get your power from. All right, what are other people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile number three? Their hidden opinions about those who chose pile three. Wow, we have goddess of the moon. I'm telling you, y'all are so attractive. It's not even funny. So yeah, the people find you to be very, very gorgeous and attractive in, yes, the conventional way, but also in the magnetic way, okay? You're able to draw in people and opportunities. You have this strong magnetic pull. Or people want to know what you're up to. They're curious about you. They feel like you manifest very easily. Okay. What are other people's secret hidden opinions about you? People can also feel like you're kind of magical. Now we have the world. Wow. Very, very strong energy here. That's all I'm going to take actually from this one. Because the energy is like very, very strong. So with the world card here, this one's, this one's kind of giving me, okay, one, people feel like you're mysterious right? Not everybody knows everything about you. Um, and two, their hidden opinion is that you are able to direct your life and change your life to kind of get whatever you want. Okay. Maybe people feel like you've changed your life a lot. You've changed your scenery. Maybe you've moved, you've changed jobs, you've changed friend groups, you've changed your hair. <laughs> okay. You've changed your style of dress. Like you are not afraid of change at all. Okay, I'm also seeing style now in the letters. So people feel like you have a really strong sense of style, okay? Very, very interesting. Um, but you have a lot of magnetism and charisma. It seems like you can kind of just like, you attract it all. You can kind of get whatever you want. It makes me think about the color black because it's like all of the colors combined. People feel like you're the full package. That's what I'm picking up on. Yeah, they feel like you're the full package and you can kind of just get whatever you want if you set your mind to it. If you set your mind to something, you can achieve it. That's what I'm trying to say here. Not like a cocky thing or I can go whatever I want, but it's more like people, their hidden opinion about you is that if you set your mind to something, you will achieve it. They know it. They don't have any doubt about it. You're very focused on your life and your goals. People admire that about you. What are their hidden opinions about those who chose pile number three? What do people secretly think about them? Main female? Whoo! Oh my god, you're that main one. You're that you're that main baddie. Yes. I'm telling you, yeah, people feel like you're your main character energy. You got that main character energy. Um, they secretly feel like you're setting a lot of goals for yourself and you're going to hit them. You have a lot of like far off goals. Um Hmm. Thanks. Think about travel as well. If you if you like to travel, people get jealous of that. Is what I'm hearing, or they like to see your travel photos. We have message. I do feel like someone wants to send you a message. This could be someone. You have the lovers at the bottom of the deck. This could be someone you're entertaining right now, or someone old who wants to come back into your life. Guys, do check out my OG reading because if you want to know more about who's missing you, what they're gonna do next, we're going to get that in the OG reading. Okay. Alrighty, so we're not done yet, guys. We have so much more to look at. We're going to look at the Alice's Romance Oracle 1 and 2, my multicolor cards, and then we're also going to get channel dice messages at the end, okay? So if you guys are liking the messages so far, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. It lets me know what you guys want to see next, what kind of videos you guys like to watch, okay? Alrighty. So let's see what else we have. What hidden opinions do others have about you? Your kindness has changed my life. Oh, interesting. I'm seeing that the experiences that you have with people, they really um, they really stay with people over time. They definitely stay with people. Yep, I secretly admire you and you hurt my feelings. Again, this walking karma. They admire you, but you teach people a lot of lessons about themselves. You kind of act like a mirror for a lot of people. I've liked you for a really long time. So again, these are people who have crushes on you, but not now. And then if you love me, I'll take care of you, but not now. That is so funny. Um, yeah, there are people who want to step into your life and be the one for you, but they stay away from you because they know they're not ready for you yet. And then you're on my mind the most. Yeah, there are people who are definitely staying away from you on purpose, but they still really like you and they have a soft spot for you. There are a lot of people who have crushes on you. I got my llama mug right now, <laughs> drinking my tea. I 
That's a fun one, huh? Okay. <laughs> Let's look at my multicolored cards. You maybe want to spend forever together. Yeah, I'm getting wife hubby material. People feel like you're hubby or wife material. I'm not interested enough to make an effort. Oh, yeah. So people's hidden opinions about you is that you don't chase. You're not interested enough to make an effort in anybody right now. You're just, you, you know, you're not going to chase anybody. That's what I'm seeing. Acquaintance. So you have acquaintances who feel this way about you, who want you, but they don't really come forward. Cute face. You don't feel like you have a cute face. That you have an attractive physique. Some people who feel like, I can't believe you walked away and they're missing you. Okay, definitely. What are people's secret hidden opinions? What are people's hidden opinions about those who chose pile of three? Stunning face. Yeah, cute face, stunning face. You make me feel like God or magic is real. Wow, again, with that like magnetism that you have, that I can do anything on my set my mind to it. You do have like kind of a magical energy. And again, like that witch we talked about earlier, they wonder if you're doing spells in yourself. People make you make people feel like magic must be real because of your life. So that's definitely a confirmation that people feel like you're very magical or they feel like you may even be a witch. Have you have coworker? Coworkers could feel this way about you. All right. I heard, how are you leveling up so fast? Piercing gaze. It looks like you have piercing, a piercing gaze and none of these. Now I'm just going to kind of do like this. Huge blessings are on the way. Yeah. And also you saw right through me. So yeah, people do feel like you're you're due for something really good or you're always kind of on the up and up. Uh, we also have unexpected blessing is about to arrive. So their hidden opinion about you is that you're always on the up and up. You're always being blessed. And also you have a lot of discernment because you see right through people. Again, like you see people, but you don't always, you move accordingly, but you don't cause a fuss. If that makes sense. All right, last but certainly not least, we're going to go ahead and get into your channel dice messages. You already know how this works. I'm going to use the dice to get one of these numbered messages, okay? So let's go ahead and see. What do people secretly think about my pile number threes? Four and four, okay. So we're going to look at four and eight. I thought about dating you. Wow. Thought about dating you heavily because we got it twice, right? And then I think about you at night. I got to put the winky face in right here because <laughs> you know what it's giving. I think about you at night. <laughs> These are people who regret leaving you, but also be people who are thinking about you in that in that way. Okay. <clears throat> now we have seven and nine. Okay. I can see you transforming me for the better. I'm upset at the, at the amount of attention that you get. And then 16 says, I love your mind. You're so intelligent. Wow. Very, very interesting here. Very, very interesting. All right. Now we're going to move on to this other one over here. Now, I'm just saying that if you um, if you're a guy or if you have um, certain... <clears throat> Certain certain uh, downstairs parts, people people want to know if it's big, okay? Because I literally see that word in the card, P E, and okay, it's right there. So people want to know what it looks like, okay? Not only not only the nips, but they want to know what the downstairs looks like <laughs> for my guys, okay? All right. What do people secretly think? What do people secretly think? We have one and three, okay? You're quite eye catching. You stand out from the crowd. You're creative and a visionary. I like your genuine energy. And you're relaxing to be around. You seem so put together. Very interesting. What else are their hidden opinions about those choosing pal three? Now we have two and five. You get along with others very easily. So fun to be around. All right. I can see you've gone through some major transformations. Yeah, totally makes sense. And then seven, you're very focused on your life's journey at this time. Wow. Yes, exactly. You're very, very focused. People say you're very focused. All right. Last, this is probably the most fun. We're going to see what they think about your physical traits. Okay. Now let's see. Divine source. What do people think about my pal number three's physical traits? All right. Now we have six and four. Six says sexy, curvy figure, voluptuous body, slim, thick, curvilicious. Four says, great teeth, killer smile, sexy smirk, white or straight teeth. And 10 is sexy lips, full lips, 
pouty, glossy, amazing kisser, soft lips. Okay. Oh, this one, it rolled and it got eight. I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, okay, double eight, which is also 16. Let's see. Perky full breast, sexy cleavage, perfect breasts. Are they real? Didn't we talk so much about breasts? That really makes sense. That came through. Um, double, double on that. That's hilarious. People really, really want to know. And then uh, 16 says model walk, head turner, confident strut, noticeable sway. Now, since we got eight twice, I'm going to roll one more time and see what we get. Okay, eight came up again. So we already know what it is. Two, mesmerizing eyes, piercing gaze, eye shape or color. And then we already got 10 before, right? Um, that was sexy lips, full lips, pouty, glossy, and amazing kisser. Alrighty, guys, that is going to be it for your reading today. I hope that you did enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching till the very end. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Well, I guess all of you did. So go ahead and give it a thumbs up and then <laughs> subscribe to my channel so you can watch the OG reading all about do they miss you? What are we finding out what this person is thinking about you, who they are, and what their next steps towards you are, okay? Additionally, if you would like more content from me, go ahead and check out my TikTok channel. That one is Lunar Light Tarot, the same handle, where you can check out more free content from me. And if you would like to book a personal reading, check out my website, lunarlighttarot.com, and that's where you can book a personal with me. And all that is in the description below. All right, thank you so much for watching today's reading. I'll talk to you in the next one. Love and light. Bye. Hello there to my OGs. We say to the very end of the reading, thank you so much for being here today. I do hope that you enjoyed the main reading. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the subscriber bonus. Do they miss you? We're finding out, you know, who this person is. Do they miss you? What are they thinking about you? And what are they going to do next in this connection? Okay. Now we're not skimping out, guys. We're getting the letters and the zodiac signs so let's go ahead and see well we are skipping out on charms <laughs> okay so i guess we're skipping out a little bit but uh not not on the uh initials and zodiac signs so let's go ahead and see who is missing my ogs currently who is missing my ogs right now who is missing my ogs currently okay so if we get any like charms i'm kind of gonna leave it to the side well we got a little charm, so I might speak on it a little bit. <laughs> We're like, I'm not doing it, but here we are. All right, here we go. R, A, N, A. Look, we have ran already. Someone who ran away from the connection with you. Whoa, or someone who likes to run. K, O, knockout <laughs> came out. Maybe this person could be attractive as in a knockout or this connection could have left some oomph. All right, N, another N, O, <laughs> the OGs. <laughs> I can't help myself, guys. We're in the OG reading and we got OG. What do you know? U, B, J, a blank, P, D, C, and then V. This could be someone who makes, you know, pretty good money because I did see bank. I also saw rank. Like, they could be someone who, you know, ranks highly. Um, I, I'm seeing one of my white and yellow cards. It says hottest in their rank. So this could be someone who's attractive. You know what I mean? Okay. Uh, let's see. All right. For the zodiac signs, we have Sagittarius twice. Aquarius twice. We have Scorpio, Pisces twice. Put that to the side. Libra. We have Virgo, Taurus, Cancer. Capricorn, running out of space here. <laughs> All right, hold on. 
Excuse me, Virgo. I'm gonna put you right over here. All right, Capricorn. And lastly, Gemini. So I think we have all the air signs here, do we not? Forgive me if I'm wrong. No, we don't, yeah, we do have Libra. Yeah, Libra, Aquarius, and uh, Gemini. So definitely a lot of energy there. We have all the earth signs as well. So that's heavy in this person's chart. Um, you could have kissed this person already because we do have the lips or they, they find your lips to be attractive or you find theirs to be attractive. This could be someone who likes music or they make music. All right, this this person still has feelings for you because we do have this little heart here. Um, but there's someone who's kind of like prickly with the cactus, all right? They're kind of prickly. All right, guys, let's go ahead now and see what else we're getting, okay, for this person. Do they miss you? Does this person miss my OGs? Does this person miss you? Oh, come tell me about this person. Oh God, why did I hear? I regret it. Okay, this person did you dirty. I can already tell. They definitely did you dirty um, with the seven of swords in reverse and the nine of swords also in reverse. <clears throat> they could have tried to pull one over on you and it didn't work. They expected you to be the person who was really upset about this and who was like crying and stressed but I feel like they're the one who is more stressed. I feel like they're starting to kind of put that down now. They're starting to kind of put some regret away, but I don't know if it's necessarily regret, but it's also like, it's what it is, it's, like, it's guilt. This person has guilt for treating you, doing you dirty. The person can have a dog. They can have some kind of pet, okay? Um, not really seeing a cat, but they could have a dog. All right, do they miss you? Does this person, does this person miss you? For my OGs. Two of wands. They are planning something. Um, they miss you to an extent. They're, I would say, maybe it's not that they are missing you so heavily right now. It's more that they're disappointed with how the situation between you and them went. And if this is a romantic situation, which I feel that it is, um, for some of you it's romance, and for some of you it's friendship. This person is disappointed with their other options. <laughs> so they want to make a plan to come back towards you. I'm hearing they didn't expect the kind of pull that you did have on them. Look, Page of Cups. Or not, not the Page, sorry. The Prince of Cups. So they do want to come in and make you some kind of offer. This is the Knight in the Tarot, in this version of the Tarot. So they do want to come in and make you some kind of offer. We have Prank in the letters here. So this person could like to kind of play some games. You know what I mean? Like they act like it's not that serious what they did to you, but it is though, but it is though. All right, this person acts like they don't care. Do they miss you? Do they miss my OGs? Three of swords in reverse. They're right now they're healing from the situation. They are hurt. I'm hearing that they hurt themselves. They could have self-sabotaged in this connection by juggling between you and another person, yeah. It could have been a third party situation, right? Or they, yeah, they could have had other options in the situation. Maybe you found that out and you, you didn't want to entertain it. Yeah, we have the devil at the bottom of the deck. You could have found out about this person's struggle um, with even like addiction, okay? Or um, their struggle with uh, being non-committal. You know what I mean? They weren't sure. Doesn't does not does not necessarily have to be that there was a third party, but they weren't sure about what they wanted in the connection, and they kept like putting you on ice. This person acted like they had a lot of options with you, whether that was friendship or that was a relationship. They acted like they had all these options. You know what I mean? Um, I do feel like they got some karma behind the scenes for how they treated you with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, much of the King of Pentacles in reverse. If this is someone who made a lot of money, I do feel like, um, you know, they could have a situation where, you know, God forbid they were a victim of fraud or um, they, you know, their, their bank account got hacked. So they had to, you know, the debit card got shut down or... 
Um, so think about money being taken away. You know what I mean? I'm not getting as, as serious as like losing your job. I mean, this person could have switched jobs, right? And in between, it's like not going so hot. But I'm seeing something about like losing money that wasn't good, okay? Gambling and it didn't go out so well, that kind of thing. All right, um, whatever the trials this person has been put through, they're starting to think about the connection a little bit differently now because of it, okay? That's what I'm seeing. They're thinking about your connection differently. I feel like at first they were very like, they didn't really care that they were being deceptive towards you, but now all of a sudden they're like, they're having this heart chakra awakening, all right? Especially because... You didn't, I'm here. you didn't respond in the way that they expected you to towards this. Yeah, now they feel attached to you for some reason. Because you switched up your energy on them, now they feel attached. I, wait, I'm seeing vague. So this person could be vague towards you or they, you know, and that, the E is not here, but I'm still seeing it. This person could have been vague towards you as well, like vague what they wanted in the relationship. Anyway, I feel like the tables have turned and now it's you who's being very aloof. All right, we have man holding a coin. This person could have tried to be flashy and show off in some way. They know that they're a catch. So they try to be flashy and show off or make you feel like, oh, you know, you're lucky to be with someone like me. The person has a lot of like vitality and energy. They're kind of used to getting what they want, um, but this whole situation is sending them through some kind of awakening and some kind of healing. I think you two did meet for some kind of healing purpose. Yeah, healer of the ages. Oh, I'm, t I'm telling you, they definitely went through some kind of financial struggle because of this. I think they're coming out of their karma now. They kind of already got served a lot of their karma. So they're starting to come out of it. Um, they thought that they were God's gift, <laughs> honestly. And when they met you, they feel like they met their match. This is, you have a really different energy than anyone they've ever been around. And I feel like they, they think of you as someone now who's an equal, but at first they kind of didn't. All right. They misjudge you. This person definitely misjudged you. And now they're seeing that that wasn't true. I'm also, I'm also seeing the word naked and we don't have the E, right? But I'm seeing the word naked in the letters here. So they could feel like they are exposed like you saw right through them again they feel very exposed by this situation okay okay interesting yeah you're cocky this is someone who is is cocky for sure i feel like they're kind of being handed they're being they're being handed that because you know they're being humbled right now essentially is what i'm trying to say yeah, ride or die, super supportive, loyalty. This could be someone you, you were ride or die to. You're very loyal and supportive. And this person just took that for granted, for sure. Yeah, because they, they didn't let their... They had a lot of inner issues that came in the way of this relationship. All right? They let things fester. There's someone who doesn't really face a lot of their inner issues, so it got in the way of this connection. I want to get to know more about you. Now this person is very curious about you. Now they're curious because they feel that you were different than what they expected. Now they're kind of, they're falling in love a little bit. I think I'm falling in love with you because you hit them with that different energy. You hit them with that Uno reverse. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We actually do have the Uno right here. Yeah, I'm meaning that you hit them with that Uno reverse. And that was, uh, that was confusing for them. Like they didn't expect that. Okay. It was like, will we ever reunite? So they do wonder that. Will you guys ever reunite? This person's in a cage of their own making. All right, they kind of put themselves in this. They could be like an F boy, a player, right? If this is a friend, this is someone who like takes your friendship for granted, acts like they, acts like you're a dime a dozen, but that's not really the truth. Now they're feeling more insecure about the connection because they feel like you are moving on. Also, it's, it's starting to get out that they are someone who's selfish, okay? Their reputation has taken a hit because of what because of the ways that they treated you the way that they treated you okay now others are looking at them like why would you do that that's what i'm seeing they're like why would you treat someone who's like so supportive in this way someone who is actually a good person so yeah others are starting to see them as selfish and sneaky and deceptive 
and maybe even insecure and controlling okay and that was that was not very that's not good for them because they like to be seen as playful flirtatious that they're innocent like they don't do anything wrong but now things are different we have did you put a spell on me this person cannot stop thinking about you all right I love your hair. They could have said that to you. That could be confirmation. Um, you could like their hair. But yeah, this person, they they haven't been able to let this connection go. And so they're like, well, did you, did you put a spell on me? I'm trying to think of the right words to say. You can do better than me. So sometimes they think about reaching out, but they feel like, you know, there's already so much water under the bridge. Like, why would I reach out when this person already feels like I'm deceptive? I'm false. Like, I'm not, you know, anything really real to them. You know, I'm hearing, okay, for um some words, I mean, some names, sorry. I'm seeing uh, Gabe, Dave, uh, Patrick is coming through. I know it's not in the letters, but George or Jorge is coming through. I heard Deluce or Dul Dulce, Duce. Maybe you guys could like to drink that. I don't even know. <laughs> Um, so you're in the word cave. So this person could be trying to go in a cave right now. You also have Calvin, Kate, Kate. <clears throat> hmm. Um, I heard Bubba. That could be someone's nickname, Bub. Okay. This person could like to hang out in the pub because we do have the word pub there. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, Nick is coming up too, Nick. All right, an ex. Oh, yeah, exactly. This is a, this is some kind of ex of yours. Even if it's like a situationship ex, most likely an ex or an ex friend, right? A coworker, excuse me, someone you got involved with at work. Do they miss you? Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person. All right, okay, I, I can't help but see, oh, so you think you're better than me. So this person feels like um, you are you think you're better than them because you got away from them. Like, oh, like you don't wanna put up with me anymore? Like you think you're better than me? Interesting. Unexpected blessing is about to arrive. This person feels like you're moving on to better things. You made me look good. They liked being around you though because you, you boosted their image. You made me so nervous. I wanna look cool in front of you. Yeah, ice cold, Psh, my goodness. Quit playing hard to get, reach out to me. So they want you to reach out to them. You may, you make me feel like God or magic is real. So this person's having a spiritual awakening through this connection, okay? I don't feel good enough for you. You're out of my league. This person could have tried to sabotage the connection and, and humble you because I actually felt like you were out of their league, okay? Because you had a lot of attention because you had that stunning face, period. Because your face card never declines. <laughs> Piercing gaze. I heard this person feels like you were looking through them, like through to their soul. Cute face. You're a great friend. People love being around you. I'm secretly so attracted to you. You're so sexy and you're leveling up so fast. This person is intimidated by you. Um, do they miss you in the traditional sense? I would say no, guys. They don't really miss you in the way that like they want you back or like, oh my God, I really want this person. Like I miss them, blah, blah. It's more like, they are upset that you got away. They're upset that their reputation is tarnished because of this. Um, they're upset that they can't stop thinking about you. They're more like mad at the situation than they are like, oh, I miss the OGs. Like, mm, I really miss. It's more like, damn, what did they do to me? Like, why can't I stop thinking about them? Like, uh, why do I still want them? It's more like, why, why, why? Why am I going through this? It's so weird that I can't stop thinking about it. I should be able to move on by now, but I can't. It's more frustration from them, okay? I'm getting a few more names in my head. I'm hearing um, Brittany, uh, Brianna. Mm. Dan, Brandon. I'm definitely getting Brandon. That's uh, literally in the letters. Hmm, David, George, where is it George? Coming through again, I guess. Cullen, maybe someone's last name. Hmm, 
okay that's mostly what i'm getting there um let's go ahead and see like what's going to happen next with this person though okay like what are they going to do next and that's gonna wrap up the reading okay what is this person going to do next in this connection they're going to remain confused <laughs> all right they're going to keep looking at you from afar all right um they're watching you come into truth and clarity I feel like you're going to be collaborating with other people, not with them. Because they're not this emperor energy. This this is somebody else. They're going to watch you come into a connection with somebody else. Work with somebody else. And they're going to be pissed. Yeah, they're this king of cups. Because this king of cups is always like my more conniving king of cups. They're going to be watching your ships come in with somebody else. You guys can, yeah, you guys can have a chance encounter to meet somebody else. They may try to offer you a small offer at that time. But... Like when you're meeting somebody else, but you're going to be queen of swords or you're going to be onto something totally different. Look, four of wands. Secretly, there's a new beginning coming for you fast with somebody new. Okay. If this is, if this is a love situation, there is a new a king of wands and emperor energy coming in. All right. There's a whole new cycle that you're starting with somebody new and it's going to happen quick. All right. Because you close out the cycle with this person. All right. They wanted you to be codependent on them. They wanted you to seek their validation and attention, but it just did not work. In the future, they still think that they can like pull you. All right. They they are so delusional. They think that they have all this pull over your life. But it's not going to work. Okay. I heard you're done with their crap. Look, crap is in the thing there. So yeah, you could be done with their with their with their crap. <laughs> Yeah, I totally see that. Very, very interesting. So I feel you guys are meeting somebody new, collaborating with somebody new. You guys could also be getting um, some kind of level up at your job, like making more money, getting a raise, getting a promotion. Some of you getting a new job that's better suited towards you, right? Something about um, collaborations for my people who have like, so you know, platforms this could be uh more followers subscribers this could be brand deals coming in i know i do have some um some content creators out there as well so that's coming in i feel like you have a lot more prosperity coming in that is separate from this person and you're going to be entertaining that and really reveling in that while this person is watching you glow up essentially so not it's not that they really miss you is that they're mad that you're gone <laughs> okay they're mad all right stay mad period all right that's what i got guys i really hope that you did enjoy this reading thank you so much for watching to the very end of the video if you haven't liked it by now what are you doing go ahead and like the video make sure that you are subscribed if you're over here i'm sure that you are thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel i really really appreciate you guys so much um it's wonderful to just you know have you guys here and there's been a lot more uh, subscribers recently so i just want to say thank you so much for being here really excited to have you guys on the channel let me know what you think of the content let me know what you want to see next i would love that and if you ever want to book a personal reading with me they're always open go ahead and check out my website lunarlighttarot.com to book with me all right thank you so much y'all i will talk to you in the next one love and light